everyone. Today we're going to learn how to tune our strings to a certain note or pitch. Pitch is a sound determined by its frequency of vibration. First thing we need to learn is the difference between sharps and flats and then how to tighten or loosen your strings with your tuners. This is called the chromatic scale. There's 12 notes in the scale and it represents all half steps within the scale, starting with the A. So it starts with an A, sometimes referred to as an A natural, then A sharp, which is also B flat, B, C, C sharp or D flat, D, D sharp or E flat, E, F, F sharp or G flat, G, and then G sharp or A flat, and then it would start over on the A. On your tuners, you're mostly going to see sharps, but if you see a flat, just know that these are identical notes. So the half steps on the baritone ukulele or guitar are consecutive frets. So starting on the A, it'd be A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then back to the A. So notice when the notes go higher up the scale, the pitch rises, it's getting sharper. When you go down the scale, the pitch drops, it lowers, and it's getting flatter. Next thing we have to learn is the difference between sharp and flat. Sharp means the note or pitch is too high compared to our target note. If you're tuning to your fourth or D string and your tuner shows a D sharp or an E, it's too high. You can also see it's that those notes are to the right on the chromatic scale. So the string is too tight. Think of the letter R in the words right and sharp. So this means you have to loosen the string. Flat means your pitch is below or lower than the target note. If you're tuning to that same fourth or D string, it may show up as a C sharp, C or a B even. These notes are to the left of the D if you look at the chromatic scale. So the pitch is too low. The string is too loose. So think of the letter L in the words left, flat, and loose. So you have to tighten that string. Okay, next you have to learn which way to move your tuners to tighten or loosen your strings, which raises or lowers the pitch. For guitars, the strings on the left side of the head, remember the saying righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, which is also what people remember when they want to tighten a screw or a bolt. So for these three strings, the three closest to the floor, and we'll turn the head sideways. This is how you're looking at it. It's registering an A sharp. To the right is tightening it, to the left is loosening. So we're going to turn it to the right, which is clockwise. You can see it's already gone up to a B. C, I'm going to keep tightening. You can hear the pitch going up. Turning clockwise, D, E, F, F sharp. G, G sharp, next one will be A, and then to loosen it, I'm going to go to, to the left, which is actually uh, counterclockwise. You'll hear the pitch drop, G, F, we missed F sharp, E, and so on, all the way back down to the A. So on the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings, the right side of the head, it's the opposite now. We don't think left, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So in order for me to tighten the string now, I have to turn it to the left, which is actually counterclockwise. So you see me, there's A, A sharp, here climbing. B, C, C sharp, and then to loosen it, I go the opposite direction, clockwise. D, C sharp, C, B, down to the A. 
And it's going to take a little while to get used to remembering, especially between the two sides. If you have a ukulele with similar tuners as the guitars, sometimes referred to as Grover tuners, you can just continue on and you'll learn to tune your four strings. However, you may have a different type of tuning key. These are called friction tuners and you have to just kind of play around with them to figure out how to tighten or loosen your strings because on this one it's opposite of what we have for the guitar tuners strings three and four are going to follow the righty tighty lefty loosey principle so if i turn to the right i raise the pitch by tightening the string if i turn to the left i lower the pitch by loosening the string strings one and two towards the floor it's the opposite then if I turn to the right, it lowers the pitch. If I turn to the left, it raises the pitch. So all this information can be very confusing. And this concept is probably the hardest part for stringed instrument players, determining what's flat or sharp and how to get your strings in tune. So watch the video another time or two if you need to. In the next video, I'll show you how we're going to use this clip-on tuner to get our strings in tune. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.